Okay. So good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Good. Thank you. Shall I call you uh, Sampath or Prem? Yes, sir, so which one? You can call me Prem. You can call me Prem. Prem, right? Okay. Okay, I just walked through your resume. So almost you have uh, mentioned that uh, three years of experience in SAP E66.0 and uh, so having around 18 months with uh, one implementation. I think uh, so you have done one implementation project for the 18 months, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and 16 months uh, you have experience in two support projects, right? Okay, fine. Yes. So regarding your SAP skill sets, uh, you mentioned that you have knowledge on IDOC, LSMW and BDC. So may you know what is the difference between uh, uh, IDOC, LSMW and BDC in which cases IDOC generally use? So you have any idea? Yes, sir. I look at yes, this working experience on IDOC because you mentioned that you have knowledge only in IDOC. Yes, so I have, I have uh, experience on IDOC mm -hmm. and as well as LSMW. Okay. Yes, so yes, I yes. Worked on BDC. Yeah. What is the knowledge that you have uh, in IDOC? Actually, in IDOC is something like where we use for every uh, scenario or module. Okay. You can take AR or SAP or any, any field that we are uh, transferring the data from non SAP to SAP or SAP to SAP will be okay. using the IDOC. Mm -hmm. So the T code uh, for uh, taking the IDOC. That has been created is W02 or W05. Well, IDOC is particularly not just for single case, but it is for multi purpose. So, would you mind? Uh, can, you, uh, can you raise your voice? Because uh, it's not audible clearly. So just uh, raise your voice a little bit more. Yes, am I audible, sir? Yeah, a little bit more. Yes, am I audible? Yes, fine. Go ahead. Yes. So IDOC is something like it is like a multi-purpose use. It is used for multi-purposes like mm -hmm. AR, set accounting, and any other uh, modules that we transfer the data from non-SAP to SAP or SAP to SAP. Okay. SAP to non-SAP. Mm -hmm. So the IDOC is like an interface. Okay. But LS and W is like a tool. LS and W. You, we migrate, we transfer the data only for uh, uh, non SAP to SAP. Sorry, uh, SAP to SAP, where uh, we migrate the data, and the data is only limited. So we can't uh, migrate massive data. The limited data only we can migrate. Okay. Okay, what about BDC? So BDC, BDC is also like an interface, but I haven't worked uh, so much on BDC. Okay, BDC so what are the methods, uh, okay, in case of LSMW, uh, which methods generally used in case of LSMW? So is there any methods that we need to select initially? Yes, sir, there are uh, two, four methods for LSMW. Okay. In BDC, there are two methods. I couldn't recollect the methods, uh, but there are four particular methods in LSMW. Okay, can you tell me that uh, method's names? Yeah. Sir, I couldn't remember. If you give me a chance, I'll definitely explore that. Okay. Uh, what are the configurations that you know in the IDOC? Sir, uh, I haven't uh, worked on IDOC configuration, but uh, usually, like, I've been part of AP, AR, and AP, I mean, AP, AR, AP, AR, and AIA. So, okay. I haven't worked on IDOC configuration. Okay, that is the reason you mentioned that the knowledge on IDOC. Uh, fine. Yes, sir, I have so, what about DME? So, do you know anything about DME structure, how it is made? So, yes, yeah, please tell me. So, DME structure is particularly like, for example, uh, in my scenario, like I'll be using my client as a scenario. So, my previous client had a requirement of like a foreign transfer. So there is some particular payment method or format format for the particular transfer. So there is a transfer form, a format for SPEA, SPEA. So like as per the bank requirement, 
I'll be telling you the scenario, sir. So there will be um, when we transfer the uh, when you are payment to double one zero, that file will be transferred in the form of IDOC, and there will be intermediary between the bank and uh, our system. That is called uh, a track or IPO or CI based on uh, company to company. So they will be asking for that uh, XML format. So we need to create that XML format. For that XML uh, file to be generated, we need to uh, I mean, do the DME configuration. So in the DME configuration, we need to uh, create a DME. So in this tree, whatever the input that we give should be uh, symbolized with the should be symbolized with that particular XML file. So we need to keep in mind that uh, whenever we are giving the input, like. Whatever, uh, the so XML what are the country specifications uh, that you know about uh, DME structure? So is there any country specifications uh, for creation of the DME? Yes, uh, sir. And, there are country specifications and also uh, the payment methods are regarding different countries, for example. So in every country will be having different specifications. So for example, we'll be taking USA. So they'll be having specifications like uh, Shift payment. So for shift payment, we need to create that particular format. So for that particular format, there is an option. And if we go to uh, D double D double the keyboard, where you will be giving the inputs, and there itself we can see that uh, the format for that particular payment. Okay. Okay. Can you tell me what are the uh, T codes that generally used to create the DME tree? Uh, and uh, which T codes are very vital to uh, assignment and creation for that point of view? Yes, please tell me the T codes names. DME, particularly DME for creating the DME tree, I go by DME as a T code. So I go by that and I can on I can give the input there. No, what my question is just like what are the T codes generally used in the DME configurations, right? Uh, Okay, sir, I haven't uh, been through that. Okay, so BM, I just know what the PM for. Okay, uh, so okay, fine, no problem. So you, you have mentioned that uh, you have good knowledge on the functional spec side, right? So you use it to connect uh, a BAP team for development. So can we? Can you tell me at least uh, what are the developments that you have done with ABAP? Yes, sir. Actually, during during uh, APC and during the dunning notices, there is some format that we need to uh, send it to the uh, to our business partners. So our client will be uh, having some meetings with our client, asking them the format regarding how the dunning notices should be look like. So as per the format, there will be the text, the header, the footer, the paragraph, also the text windows. Everything will be mentioned in detail. So we'll be gathering that information and we'll be writing an FS and we'll be deploying that FS to the adapters. So once we get uh, the information from the adapters, it will be in the form of SLC script. So okay. we'll be deploying that SLC script tool. Okay, whenever, yes, uh, okay, fine. Uh, so what are the uh, what are the uh, content will be there in the functional spec? How do you, how did you write that uh, FS? And uh, how you explain this stuff to your abapper? So functional specification, uh, all the information that is uh, mentioned in this functional specification is regarding the document that needs to be uh, mentioned. So we'll be having the paragraph information, like the format information, the text information, the window, a uh, text window information. All this information will be written. As per the uh, information, uh, as per the functional specification that has been assigned by a company itself, so we'll be having that form and we'll be buying all the information there, and we'll be forwarding that to the adapter. Yeah, what about that logic? So you didn't explain the logic, right? So how do you write logic in the FS? So for dynamic uh, concept, is there any logic will be there? So you sent me that. You told me that. Uh, so, uh, so regarding that email letters, um, that PDF form should be sent to your customer, right? So, what is the logic uh, behind this 
uh, for sending the notice to your uh, yes, business partner? Yes, yes, sir. So the logic is that will be deploying the SAP script that has been provided by the uh, ABAP. So it will be in a format of a code. And once you deploy that uh, SAP uh, script tool in the particular field where it is asked, so that tool will be uh, like I can explain that where that particular script will be in the form of what our client is asked for. So that form we need uh, wherever it is required will be deployed that, and whenever we are sending that to uh, our vendor. But the main logic over here is we need to uh, assign that scanning procedure to our customer master data. So when whenever we assign that uh, scanning, note, scanning procedure to a customer master data, we can send the notices automatically through email or uh, through See, uh, the requirement. Here yes. are yeah, the requirement you are saying that uh, so we need to send uh, Dunning uh, print to particular customer for that point of view. So you you will have to check uh, in the customer master data. Is their email is updated or not? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Uh, exactly. My point is that so when when we go into the customer master data, there is two ways. One we can send it uh, manually. And one we can uh, send it through email, but uh, most mostly everyone has preferring email. So we need to check if the email is present in the customer master data or not. If it is not there, we need to gather that information from our data, and we'll be okay. that. Uh, email over there. Fine, uh, Prem. Actually, so you mentioned that here you have knowledge on basic knowledge on S4 HANA. So tell me what are the changes that you know about uh, S4 HANA comparing to ECC? Uh, like there will be changes regarding the fees. Like there, there are few fees that uh, that will be changed, and also you can in ECC 6.0 we can use uh, both uh, classic GL as well as new GL concepts. But in S4 HANA only new GL will be used. So this is a, a major change that we can do, and also there is one more uh, thing sir. One second, sir. Yeah, tell me what are the changes uh, that you come across comparing to ECC to S4 HANA. So at least tell me five to six changes. Yes, sir. One is uh, the, over here we'll be using a new gel concept. Over here we'll be we can use new gel as well as classic uh, gel concepts. And in S4 HANA, like sorry, in in ECC 6.0 we can only we can have uh, vendor data, vendor information as well as customer documentation. But over here, only business partner uh, concept, business partner documentation will only be there. And yes, that's it, sir. Okay, so tell me that uh, tables names in the business co partner concept. Is there any tables? Do you know at least one or two tables? Sorry, sir, I couldn't recollect. Okay. Okay, so. Yes. Uh, are, you talk, are you talking about uh, tables regarding BSID or uh, BSIQ? Okay. So you mentioned that, uh, see, uh, almost uh, in the resume you mentioned that you have knowledge, okay? But in real time, you should not mention knowledge, okay? So it, uh, uh, you should have practical exposure. So here in the resume, I see almost all of the points you mentioned that I have knowledge. Okay, so you're not a pressure, almost you put uh, uh, three plus years of experience so then uh, you can say that i have experienced not knowledge okay understood, understood. yes uh, so this you can amend in your resume and uh, the next one is uh, have you uh, regarding that integration purpose what is account determination so tell me that uh, fi to mm integration where it is happened uh, and what are the account determination things will be there so GL assignment, so at least tell me to some of the areas. Yes, sir. Actually, in MM, in MM integration, we need uh, there is some uh, first that we need to like you know we need to maintain the GLs whatever the GLs uh, the client is having requirement of. So we'll be telling the information. So as for the information, we need to analyze what kind of GLs. And we'll be assigning, we'll be creating all the GLs and also 
need to uh, have a document type and number ranges for, for the mm and the mm configuration should be so in mm configuration there are, there are 20 steps here so once the, as we already have the data i will not be going to the configuration so once the mm configuration is done we need to in the mm configuration the last part uh, we need to define the values in classes and assign of accounts for automatic processing. Also, we need to uh, group together values. So in OBYC, we will be uh, assigning whatever the GL that we have created to the values class and uh, general model. Values in classes and values in classes. Okay, fine. Now, where exactly FITMM integration will be happened? What is the T code? It is a OBYC, sir. Okay. In OBYC, we can assign uh, the GLs to the values in classes. And where, where exactly FITMM integration will be happened? Particularly during when, when, for example, you mean to say in the business perspective? You mean to ask for the business perspective? Okay. Hello. Yes, yes. Sir, my question is, are you asking for a business perspective or are you asking only? No, no, I'm just asking you. So where exactly FIT MM integration will be happened? Um, tell me the T code. Okay, OBYC, you have told me that OBYC, that's fine. But uh, in which transaction it is happened? So purchase order or goods receipt or invoice or in, payment? During, sir, in, during the purchase order itself, we'll be having that. Where, where? Before purchase order itself. No, 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 no. Me go, man. Oh, sorry, Good sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Good visit. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so this is the end of the interview session. Okay. Okay. Sir. So, Prem, uh, uh, you are not come up with my expectation. Uh, frankly speaking, so you have uh, missed out so many areas. I think you will have to read the material once again and uh, watch my videos so uh, okay. at the time i asked about uh, lsmw uh, so what are the methods that we need to use in that case you can say batch input standard direct input bappy idocs okay. these are the uh, types of lsmws in sap so that which method we are using and when i talk about bdc batch data communication you can say bdc will be developed by vapor right so your customizer program will be developed and some template you need to upload. So for that point of view, initially validation will be happen. So we need to validate the data in the template, whether it is uh, uh, given correctly or not. Uh, so these are all stuff will be uploaded by end users, but in case any errors will, will pop up, definitely as a FICO consultant, we will resolve that issue. So these two, three points are missing. And regarding the tide of concept, uh, so you mentioned that you have knowledge only, but I asked about you the configuration perspective. So you can say directly inbound tide configuration, outbound tide configuration. So at least you can say that uh, you have created a po uh, that po business partner uh, profile messages, okay, segments. So what are the data will be stored in the segment and uh, in W0 to W05, what are the data will be there? What is control records, shaders records? So these were these are the things at least you may need to say, but that was missing in your conversation. And uh, regarding the DME structures, so you have missed out some of the T codes, which are very vital. So without uh, explaining these T codes, it would be very difficult uh, to prove the interview that you are the real time consultant. That was missing. And uh, my third question was um, regarding the FS. Okay, so FS. Uh, so, but in FS, so you explained uh, uh, not up to the mark. So initially you can say, so uh, while preparation of the FS, so first you need to understand the business requirements. So how you, what are the documents you need to prepare? What is CR and uh, what is the estimate hours from your side and what is the estimate from a website? Okay. And what are the logic where we need to give that logic from the print form, right? So, and what are the, uh, in customer master data, what, uh, how the emails will be updated? Okay, and uh, how you are going to contact a paper and what are the uh, specifications that you mentioned in the FS? Okay, what are the testings that you have performed? 
Okay, all those stuff is very important, but uh, unfortunately, you didn't uh, explain those stuff in clear. And uh, next one is uh, FIT-MM integration. So where it is happened, that means at the time of goods receipt, FIT-MM integration will be happened. Goods receipt entry is, uh, what is the entry inventory account data to GRIR, right? So inventory okay. transaction key is VSX and the GRIR transaction key is uh, WRX, VSX and WRX should be assigned in the OBYC and where we need to assign the GLs based on the valuation class, valuation modifier, transaction key, moment types. These are place of vital role. At least if you say like that, then interview will be another way. Uh, fine, but uh, regarding the S4, S4 HANA concept, uh, so you explained only the business uh, co business partner concept apart from this uh, in the asset. Uh, uh, in asset, there are so many changes are there, right? So at least uh, explain about that asset accounting changes uh, for three or four. Uh, and uh, business partner and GL master, what are the changes are there? So you just uh, look out my videos. Okay, and drive with just go through the videos proper. Uh, and there are almost five to six videos are there. So if you look out that videos, you can at least answer as for HANA changes at least. Okay, okay almost uh, good. So recently you have finished up the training. I'm really appreciative because uh, you are the first person. Uh, uh, I'm taking interview after the completion of the course, right? So you are from the 16th batch. I understand. So there are some uh, challenges will be there to understand all this stuff. But anyhow, the preparation and everything is good. But the way you are presenting that is a matter. OK, so if you explain in detail and clearly, then uh, the first round of its interview will be over in 10 to 15 minutes. OK, so the thing is you have to prove that you, you have to prove yourself that you are the real time consultant. But uh, almost some of the areas uh, you mentioned in the resume, you have basic knowledge or knowledge. Those things you will have to remove from the uh, your resume. OK, overall performance is OK, but uh, not up to the mark. So I'm asking almost all of the tough question. I understand, uh, but so you will have to study with this question. Uh, so if you ready with this question, that means uh, you will be uh, selecting any kind of interview in 10, uh, ten years. Even uh, if you go after five years, two years, three years, four years, you will get job, no doubt. OK. OK, so almost performance is OK, OK, but uh, see, uh, you you completed 50 days training, right? So you need at least another 20, 15 to 20 days uh, to go through each and everything. Today, whatever the questions I asked, so just please focus on that areas only and what is LSMW, how many steps are there and each step what happened, what is the entries will be come up after LSMW uh, migration activities. So how the balance will be zero and uh, what are the methods that we need to use in the LSMW. OK, those areas you just focus at least uh, watch out any video and uh, regarding the BDC, BDC is the batch data communication, how it is happened in real time. So just to go through that. And regarding IDOC, you can say at least outbound IDOC configuration, inbound IDOC configuration, what is segments, what is port, and uh, so what are the types of ports are we have, okay, and in what, what are the application of IDOC, in which cases generally IDOC should be used, okay, so in W02, what we can see, so the data records, control records, status records, okay, where we can edit the IDOC, these are at least basic stuff that you can gather from anywhere, and uh, regarding um, regarding FIT MM integration, okay, fine. Okay, this is uh, my overall uh, uh, review regarding today's interview. Almost, you explained each and everything, but uh, that is not imperfect. And uh, we need to remember that we need to prove ourselves that you are the real time consultant. Okay, you are the real time consultant. That means how efficiently you need to explain the areas. That is very important. So today we discussed about uh, DME implementation concept in this session, right? So if you explain that concept at least 15 to 20 minutes without stopping. So what is the DME tree and uh, what is that? Uh, how the DME tree should be copied, okay? And uh, so how the amendments will be happened for the SIPA payments? So what are the payment methods are there? How? What are the questions that you ask to your client? So at least we, these are all important stuff that is very important to uh, uh, shoot out to the interviewer. Understood. Yes, so OK, so I really surprised because you just completed uh, in uh, 50 days training and now you are uh, ready for interview. 
after the end of the session. I really appreciate. So nobody has dared to attend uh, a mock test nowadays because so almost all of the people need at least 30 to 40 days. But you are come up with a fresh deal and you are ready for interview. That is really appreciate. Uh, I really appreciate for this point of view. But uh, uh, we need more clarity, right? So prepare yeah. at least 10 to 15 days. Develop definitely you will get job in first attempt. I I don't have any question that you won't get job. Okay, so my question is, my concern is just like you will have to prepare the topic in detail and what are the topics we have discussed in the session. So those things you just shoot out to the interviewer. There is no need to um, look out any other documents and all just whatever the documents I shared. Okay, so I think uh, you got uh, you got that material, right? Interview material. Yes, it's very important. That is very important. So just read out that material. And uh, in LSMW, uh, so what are the configurations are there and what are the entries will be there? These are all important for the interview level. OK, just uh, uh, go through doc document proper way. And uh, again, I will take interview after 15 days. So after 15 days, definitely if you go for any job, definitely will be selected, no doubt at all. But uh, my question is just like uh, whatever the topic you are explaining that you need to mention at least uh, 15 minutes every topic. And the next uh, thing is just like uh, uh, wherever you are highlighting, wherever you are uh, uh, doing your presentation, highlighting the important points first. Don't say all the stuff like your business process and all. So the main logic is uh, the main logic behind successful of any interview. Just like uh, focus on highlighted points. So if I ask FIT MM integration, you can directly say FIT MM integration T code is OBI YC where we need to assign the GL accounts based on the uh, valuation class valuation modifier. Okay, general modifier and uh, uh, transaction type, movement type. So those things you just explain immediately. So there, there should be chances of getting uh, selection in immediate basis. So there is no need to explain entire business process for uh, FIT MM integration. I clearly um, say, uh, I clearly said. This. So I asked all account determination perspective. So only you can explain those topic. If anyone asks you the P2P process, then you can say about the entire aspects like uh, purchase order creation, mega creation. Uh, Miro creation and invoice. So these are all stuff. Uh, uh, what is contract agreement? These blah, blah blah. All this stuff you need to explain uh, in later stages. So first thing is, uh, whichever, wherever uh, you need to stress, that points are very important. So yes, you got it right. What I'm saying over here. Just to Miro academy so to in the end. Okay, uh, preparation and everything. Inka bound to bound in the. And regarding your resume, uh, uh, let me bring up my screen right now. So some of the points that you need to go here. So in your resume, so almost you need to remove all this stuff. Okay. So you have knowledge. Okay, you have knowledge on S4 HANA. That is valid. Okay, but in case of IDOPS and DLD LSMW, so you have some exposure, right? So that is very important. So good knowledge. Uh, this is just uh, uh, remove this. You have experience in validation and substitution DME concept. So these stuff, if you prepare this stuff uh, um, in proper, then uh, you need to mention in this list directly only. OK, so interior will check your knowledge only these areas. Regarding automated payment program, down payments, these are all stuff is very basic level, so nobody will ask uh, these questions. So even uh, some of the interview will try to uh, ask these questions, but anyhow, our preparation is not like that. So we we have to prove ourselves that we are the real time consultant. That's it. That's it. That's it from my side. And uh, regarding client details. So here. Uh, uh, so you mentioned the client detail. I didn't ask any question from the client. Next time I will ask. Uh, okay. And roles and responsibilities. OK, so for the first project, you need to mention uh, more than this. OK, so at least your uh, roles and responsibilities should be come. Come to this place. OK, at least you need to mention. So now it is what you are doing. Yes, yes. Yes. So you need to add more responsibilities for the first project. OK. You need to add more responsibilities. This uh, responsibility is not at all sufficient. OK, regarding uh, ticketing tools, support project. It's OK, fine. Uh, nobody will focus much on this. OK, almost fine. Almost fine. And uh, we will see in next 15 days. 
ओके ई थिंक फिफ्टीन डेस इंका सर इंका तक अवच्छ फिफ्टीन डेस लंटरव्यू गेल ओके मन अच्छे फिफ्टीन डेस इंटरव्यू बट हाँ बट ना वीडियो क्लीयर ऐ मेन बेसिक इंटरव्यू चपाली फस्ट फोकस 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 अला प्रिपेर